how to combine moving average 50 and wave analysis like a pro. How to combine moving average 50 and wave analysis like a pro. We have a monthly chart of Descom Incorporation, a peak Delta X ray Charlie Mark D X C M. Uh, this is uh, a Russell 1000 a component. And on this monthly chart, I have uh, okay put in place okay i have started my wave analysis and this is the first ilia wave the second ilia wave the third ilia wave the fourth ilia wave and the fifth ilia wave on this chart the red line here is the moving average at 50. the question that we want to answer today is how to combine the moving average 50 and wave analysis like a pro one thing that I say to the TSTW24 traders that any trend, any bullish trend, for a bullish trend to become truly, truly strong, the price must stay above the moving average 100. For a bearish a trend to stay strong, the trend must stay below the moving average 100. In fact, I have recorded a video at Day Pro a Traders YouTube channel, The Power of the Moving Average 100. I recommend to traders to check that video out, The Moving Average 100, The Power of the Moving Average 100 at Day Pro Traders YouTube a channel. But here we are, we want to talk about the Moving Average 50, all right? So, if once you count your wave, you count first wave, second wave, third wave, fourth wave, and the fifth wave. Now, what usually takes place after the fifth wave, a correction usually takes place. Pay attention, my friend. Pay attention. The first reaction, the first reaction of the corrective phase will usually bring the price back to the moving average 50. See here? This is the first reaction of the correction. So the price will come down to retest the moving of a 50, all right, right here. So you will see that the, 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 the third area wave, the price is away from the moving average 50. So in fact, uh, during the third area wave, the price is above the moving average 20. So the, if I place on my chart now, let me do that. I place on my chart the moving average 20. I'm using a simple moving average in this case. One can use also the exponential uh, moving average. I want to place on my chart, okay, the moving average 20. Very often, the during the third area wave and the fifth area wave, the price is above the moving average 20. So pay attention, I want to place on my chart the moving average 20. I call it uh, into green. Okay, you see the green line on my chart? That's the moving average 20. As you can see, the third area wave is above the moving average 20. And the fifth area wave is also above the moving average 20. But the first reaction of the corrective phase, we usually bring the price back to the moving average 50. Now, I did not say we'll always bring the price to the moving of 50. I say will usually bring the price to the moving average 50. Some stock will not bring the first reaction of the corrective phase, will not bring the price all the way to the moving average 50. But more than 70% of the time, the first reaction of the corrective phase will bring the price up to the moving average 50. So for instance, if you're going to have a flat correction, you may see sometimes they probably count on one, okay? All right, two, all right, a three. And we bring the price to the moving average 50. And then we have usually a bounce up when the price will form again, a double, a, another retracement, a double retracement, one, two. So you, you see, after you pull back, it goes down one, two, three, breaking below the moving average 20 for the first time. Because the moving average 20 was supporting the price, now it has fell. The next support level is the moving average 50. All right? 
And then from there, the prior will go back above the moving average 20, so it breaks above the moving average 20, and we try to retest it, the moving average 20, and then go back again up, okay, to form the flat correction before the prior will go down all the way, so then the correction will be completed near the moving average 200. So the first reaction of the correction phase will bring the prior, will usually bring the prior to the moving average 50. But the whole correction, in most cases, will end somewhere near the moving average 200. But for the purpose of this video, I don't want to talk about the moving average 200. I want to talk about the moving average 50. What I want you to take away from this uh, to tutorial in order to polish your wave analysis or to trade okay, uh, the wave analysis like a pro, understand, okay, understand that the usually the first reaction of the corrective phase very often will bring the price to the moving average 50. Sometimes the price may not come down 1, 2, 3. You may see it will go down straight away. So some stock, you will see the first reaction, the price will go in a straight down all the way to the moving average 50. This is an excellent opportunity for traders to buy the stock again. So when you count first wave, second wave, third wave, fourth wave, and the fifth wave, and the first reaction brings the price near the moving average 50, this is an excellent, okay, a bullish trading setup. So here, as you can see, you see the tail of this candle came almost near the moving average 50. In fact, the, the small body or the professional traders know this. So there were orders already packed along the moving average 50 as the prior was going down, it did below the 20. There were already orders here packed to buy this stock. And you will see very often a bounce up. But be careful, be careful, my friend. Don't expect the prior to go a form a flat correction all the time. Sometimes we have a zigzag pattern, which means the price will go down one, two, three, four, five. All right. Sometimes you will see that the price may do something like this. So you may see price come down first time like this, okay, and then it bounce up a bit like this, okay. You see now, and then it will go down like this, a little bit down like this, all right, or or you will come down all the way here to the moving average 50, and then it will go up a bit near the moving average 20, it will not go above it, which is not the case of the flat correction, and then it will come back down again to form, okay, another five move down, so you see one, two, three, four, five. So it will go one, two, three to the moving average 50, it bounce up to the moving average 20, and then another move down to complete one, two, three, four, five move down. All right. If it form one, two, three, four, five, move down all the way to the moving average two hundred, this is another opportunity. This is another bullish trading setup. In all cases, whether it goes down in a straight line to the moving average fifty, it's a bullish trading setup here. Or if it goes down one, two, three to the moving average fifty, is again a bullish uh, trading setup. This is how one can combine the moving average fifty and the wave analysis like a pole. The one thing that I want you to understand in this video, that the first reaction of the corrective phase is that, okay, we'll bring the price, we'll usually bring the price to the moving average 50. So during a bullish trend, very often, you will see that uh, uh, from the third in your wave, the price is above the moving average 20. As the correction be begins, the first reaction will bring the price back down to the moving average 50 for the first time after uh, the third in your wave. For the first time, the price will return to the moving average 50. It makes sense? It is also powerful. So when the price reaches the moving average 50, there is a high shadow, it will bounce up. So this is an excellent bullish training setup. The opposite is also true in a downtrend. So you see like this, in a downtrend, you count your waves, okay? One, two, three, four, five waves in a bearish trend, all right? So during the third in your wave and the fifth in your wave, the price very often will be below the moving average at 20. So I'm going to place on my chart, okay, a line like this, and I'm going to call it that, okay? I'll say this is the moving average 20, okay? I'm going to call it now into, okay, uh, grain, all right? So, yeah, so you see, you get a message. So, this is moving to, so during the third in your wave and the fifth in your wave, very often the price, okay, in the bearish trend will be below the moving average 20. 
But here we have the moving at 50 waiting here that is suppressing okay the price because we are in a downtrend. I'm going to call out my uh, uh, moving at 50 here, all right, into a red, all right. But now, what you usually see as the correction uh, okay begins at the end of uh, the fifth area way, you see that the first reaction will bring the price back to the moving average uh, 50. In a downtrend, this is an excellent uh, bearish trading setup. So if you sell it here, you will be prepared to take your first profit near the moving average 20. It makes sense? It is also uh, powerful. I will be recording more videos okay, to explain to traders how to combine the moving average 50 or the moving average 20 or the moving average 200 okay, with the wave analysis uh, like a pro. If you have any question, put in the comment section. Any suggestion, put in the comment section. And in due course, okay, I will record more videos to answer your specific question. What I want to say to trader in this point in time is that when it comes to moving averages, okay, trader hate moving averages. In fact, they dislike the moving averages, but professionals use moving averages a lot. The moving averages are too powerful. In fact, uh, I have uh, a PDF about the moving averages that I will be releasing probably next year to the market, or right? this will not be free. And uh, because there are more things I need to clarify to traders when it comes to moving averages. We can also use the moving average crossover to detect the beginning of the third area wave, the end of the fourth wave, and also the end of the fifth wave. All right? But at this point in time, I will not talk about that. I will not share that information here until I release that PDF, okay, on the market, all right? So stay tuned. At one point in the future, I will be talking about moving average crossover, how one can use moving average crossovers to pinpoint, okay, uh, the third in your way, the beginning of the third in your way, the end of uh, the fourth wave, the end of the fifth wave, and how to use moving average crossovers together with uh, the wave analysis. This is the end of uh, this tutorial, very simple. One thing also I want you to remember is that a bullish trend, during a bullish trend, the price must stay above the moving average 100. Check out that video that I call the power of the moving average 100 at the Pro Traders YouTube channel, all right? But now, during the third and the fifth area way, very often in an uptrend, the price is above the moving average 20, but the first reaction of a corrective file will bring the price back to the moving average 50. In a downtrend, during the third and the fifth wave, the price usually below the moving average 20, but the first reaction of, uh, of the corrective phase will bring the price back to the moving at 50. So this will also help us so to polish our wave count because when I'm counting wave and I see that uh, a wave came down all the way to the moving average uh, 50, and I'm, the first thing that is coming to my mind is that that wave is a corrective wave. All right, so sometimes to the MT, sometimes suppose you are here and you are counting the wave, you say, okay, suppose you are here, you say this is, uh, suppose you are here, you say this is the first wave, second wave, third wave, and you say this is the fourth wave. If you show me this straight away, I'll say to you, I doubt it because very often the first reaction of the corrective phase will bring the price to the moving at 50. So when you are counting wave and you see any wave that came back all the way after the third in your way, you see any wave that brings the price back to the moving at 50. 50, most of the time, not always, usually is the first reaction of a, a corrective uh, a first, all right? We are the TSTW24 uh, uh, traders, talking about how to combine the moving average 50 and wave analysis like a pro. Happy trading to you all, and uh, speak to you soon. If you have any comment, put in the comment section, any suggestion, put in the comment section, and in due course, I will record another video to answer your specific question. Happy trading to you all, and speak to you soon.